Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. Uh, big thank you for your continued support and may God really, really uh, bless you. Back to the Kenyan politics. I want to say this, Kakasungura. Where we've reached as a nation, we are no longer ourselves. We are no longer making independent decisions as a country. We are operating under the yokes of the Western. And um, if you look at the unfolding of events in the Kenya Kwanzaa government, is a clear indication that the future is tough for Kenyans economically. It's high time Kenyans must begin to prepare themselves psychologically that the Kenya we are expecting tomorrow or we have already expected because it's already in progress is a country that is taking back to so many, many years ago, in fact, during the time of Jomo Kenyatta. Because in Akumbuka Hata Moi, alikuwa napeana maziwa ya kiserekari ya nyayo. Wakati kibaki alikuja, ndi alileta free education. Serekari ya kibaki. And so many other reforms. But now, the Kenya Kwanza government is on course to scrap, or it has already scrapped, a number of these programs that were made for so many years to cushion Kenyans from tough economic situations. Now, Education is going to be not only expensive, but very, very expensive. Affording food will be very, very expensive. Because if production is expensive, it means buying will also be expensive. Not all of us will be producers. Some of us entirely depend food from the market. If the people producing the food are using expensive farm inputs to produce that food, definitely the buying will be very expensive also. Fueling a car will be very expensive in this country. Very expensive. It's a situation that Kenyans have not come to reality. When I speak to a number of Kenyans, they have not come into terms that life ahead will be very difficult for all of us Kenyans. Why am I saying this? Ndindi Nyoro is a close ally to the deputy uh, to President William Ruto. And yesterday Ndindi Nyoro told Kenyans on a national television that Kenyans you must bite the bullet. No mercy, no surrender. No retreat. You must bite the bullet. I used to tell you that prepare for tough times ahead, but you never listened to me. Nakumbuka nikipiga kelele hapa kwa sauti ya juu. Nikiwambia prepare. You couldn't listen. But I'm happy. The preparations I used to tell you even before the election is coming from Ndindi Nyoro. The owner of government he is now speaking. 
prepare for tough times. Bite the bullet. Not only biting the bullet. Nini Nyora is saying you must. Using the word must, it means there is no any other option under the sun that can rescue the situation. You must. Nakubuka nikiwa na mapodi ya muhapa. Nikiwambia wa Kenya, prepare, jipang. I told you, in broad daylight, you couldn't listen to me. Mulisema hii ghasia kaka, wache ipige kelele, itarudi nyombani ilale. It's coming to pass. Prepare, jipang. Ndogo zanguni, jipang. Maisha hapa mbeleni, ni kulia na kusaga meno. Life, Things will never be usual as you think. Mutalia, mutachoka, mutajipanguza machozi na mutarudi kulala. Things are tough. I'm not the one speaking. This is Ndendi Nyoro speaking himself. What was he saying? I want to quote. You know, he was speaking the first day of public hearing on the proposed budget, that is the 2023-2024 financial year, um, and uh, the median terms of the new budget, and the meeting was held at uh, KICC, the Kenya International Convention Center, yesterday. Now, Yoro said his office is set to oppose any measure to increase the new budget to over 2 trillion and this will affect kenyans in a very big way this is what nyoro said on the revenue side what fills our basket is direct taxes and we are proposing in the current financial year budget to raise around 4.14 trillion we project the figure could even go, go higher then he continued to say, if we are to use the country's GDP as a measure, we only need to become more innovative so that we can collect more because the opportunity is there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these sentiments from Nyoro yesterday and other sentiments that he made we understand that the IMF, International Monetary Fund, is pushing Kenya Kwanza government to abandon some things so that they can fund them. This is affecting Kenyans in a very tremendous way. So to each and every Kenyan listening to me tonight or watching me, I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that yale maisha ambayo umekuwa ukiishi the economic life that you are believing will affect you than you could have imagined how i wish that you prepare yourself psychologically shule zinafunguliwa just around um, about one week from now Shule zinafunguliwa. <clears throat> Wazazi. I am a parent also. Because I have siblings who are paying school fees for. I am a parent also. The life ahead of us is only God who can speak to ourselves. Why? We are facing an expensive life with a stagnant income. You didn't get this. We are staring at an expensive life than we have been living with a constant salary. Ha. Let me explain. You know, you have been earning 100,000, for instance, as your monthly salary. 
This 100,000, you've been earning this cash for the past 10 years. Now, remember with 100,000, your salary has not been added to 150,000. You still earn 100,000 to debt. With this 100,000, you have been paying school fees to your children in university as job. Because job, government pays part of the school fees and you are left to pay just like 20,000. Now with 100,000, you've been paying that. Your salary has not increased to 150, but help has been scrubbed, meaning the school fees will increase you will pay more school fees with you are just stagnant already 100,000. I don't know if you are getting what I'm explaining. So, the Kenya Kwanza government is raising the cost of living but stagnating the income. That is dangerous. Why? With your salary of 50,000, you have been going to work daily using your car. And when you are using your car with 50,000, you have been fueling your car with a liter at around 170 shillings for instance. This one liter is going to increase to about 180 shillings. But your salary is still 50,000. Meaning, as the fueling of your car increases, your income to fund the increasing fueling is still stagnant. It's oscillating at 50,000. Meaning, you need to dig deep into your pocket to fund the extra 10 shillings per liter. That will affect your income in a tremendous way. Right? Now, at, uh, at 1,000 shillings, you have been buying 55 units of tokens, for example. I'm giving an example. With 1,000, you have been buying 55 units of electricity. But now, you have been earning 10,000 shillings from your job. Then, you have been using 1,000 to buy tokens, 55 units. Now, you are going to use the same 1,000, the, 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 you are going to use 55 units, you will be required to deposit around 1,500 because the cost of tokens has increased. But in your workplace, you are still earning 10,000. I don't know if Kenyans, you are getting this. You are still earning 10,000, but tokens keep increasing while your salary is stagnating. Meaning, the extra 500, because, let me put it like this very clear. When you remove 1,000 and consume 55 units, una back in a 9,000. But the sasa kwa sababu token zimeongeza and your salary is still at 10,000, you will be required to add 500 shillings, for instance, on top of 1,000 to have the 55 units. That's an example. Meaning, the balance from your earning will be 8,500, not 9,000. So meaning, you've eaten the 500 extra. Right? Let me give a final example. <laughs> you have been using a motorbike from where you live to work. And every day, you've been using like two and fro asubu in a jioni, umako kutumi 100 shillings. Kwenda 50, kurudi 50. So, that's 100 shillings. In a month, so 100 shillings times 30, 33,000 in a month. If you are going to work daily, I'm, I'm calculating daily even Sunday and Saturday. Now, when fuel is increasing, it means, mutu wa boda boda taongeza sasa fuel, ama hiyo fuel itatoka 50, Ikuja 70. But your salary is still 20,000. So, 
in your salary of 20000 ukitoa transport ya 3000 ulikuwa unabaki na 17000 right your budget for it now in the kenya kwanza government the transport is going to increase from 50 to 70 shillings meaning if you are going to operate daily that is 70 shillings times 30 right uh 140 shillings times 30 that is 70 kwenda 70 kurudi 140 times 30 4200 minus the 3000 daily umeongeza 1200 on top so meaning i went then to save 17000 out of your 20000 it means you are going to save in fact 15800 shillings with the kenya kwanza government kufikia hapo hata nyinyi amuoni mnaelekea mahali pagumu hata nikiwaonyesha examples wa Kenya ni kichwa ngumu hamtasikia lakini kwa sasa let me stop it at that god bless you